Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. So students, PNB Credit Officer 2023 exam results are out. And today I'm going to provide interview preparation guidance, right? What exactly you need to prepare? What exactly the kind of question you are going to face at the time of interview? Kis tarah ke questions interview mein aap se pooche ja sakte hain? And kis tarah se aapko preparation karni chahiye? Let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been working on bankexamstudy.com i've been teaching on bankexamstudy.com from last 10 years i guess and this is my whatsapp number in case there is any doubt in your mind you can ask your doubts from me and i'm going to answer your doubts so let's start uh, with the what exactly you need to prepare first of all you need to prepare for your introduction see if you are preparing your introduction well half of the battle you have one half of the battle theek hai that's really really important whenever you go for an interview right whenever you go for an interview uh the way you dress up right the way you talk right that's really really important the way you introduce yourself really important so your name so this is my name right uh then your education my name is ramandeep and i i'm from whichever city you are from right i'm from ludhiana i've done my mba from pau right or whichever you know institution you have done your education name city education and then your anything special about your education are you a gold medalist in your engineering or in your mba are you a gold medalist anything special after telling about your education if there is something special about your education or anything special about your uh, you know about your academics just let them know and then about your work experience and when you are talking about your work experience wherever you have worked let's say you have worked with hdfc right and whatever you were doing at hdfc bank just let them know that uh, in hdfc i was i was a relationship manager and my task was to you know uh sell banking products to my customers and i was a relationship manager to 100 plus customers and during my tenure i did that i did whatever you did right and this is it actually and then the panel is going to ask questions from your work experience most of the times they are going to ask some work experience questions and personal questions right so whatever you have done and if there is nothing special about your work experience if there is nothing special about your education work experience suppose you are a boring person then they are going to ask a lot of banking questions something which may or may not be relevant uh, you know which may may or may not be relevant to your existing job profile theek okay? hai and if you if your profile is kind of boring and there is nothing much about your profile they'll start asking the banking questions core banking questions questions from credit to make sure that you are a suitable person either you tell them that i am uh, from the credit background okay and in hdfc bank i was doing credit only okay or they'll start asking questions like to verify okay they'll ask a question from rbi circulars related to cc and how it works the rbi circulars related to current account this and that right so your work experience here is most important so if your uh, resume is already very good half of the battle is done right again work experience is actually very important actually this is most important here most important here <clears throat> so if there is something good about your work experience you, you need to let them know how to explain your work experience let's assume that you were in hdfc bank you were working with hdfc bank and what was your job role you need to explain about your job role uh, what whatever your job role or profile was okay so i mean you start with the number of years i mean you are working at hdfc bank then number of years i worked there for like 2 years 3 years 4 years right and then uh, what was your job role uh, as an assistant manager or whatever and whatever you were your duties job duties whatever you did right and whatever your achievements whatever you achieved whatever you achieved that's really really important and this is the pattern in hdfc i work for like 3 years for hdfc bank and then i worked the, there as a as a you know deputy manager and my duty was to you know uh, to deal with the hni clients right i used to sell them 
the credit products to the HNI clients. And during my tenure, I mean, in one of the quarters, I was, uh, you know, uh, employee of the month or I got this medal, I got that medal in the, in the whole North India. I got this, uh, uh, you know, medal or this achievement. I got promotions, this and that. That's how you, you are supposed to speak. Okay. Uh, followed by some personal questions. Uh, in between the last some personal questions, suppose if you are working in a private bank, you are not used to the, uh, you know, uh, what do you say, uh, far away postings, maybe right now you are you are from Bangalore and you got Bangalore posting, maybe you won't join the bank if you get the Lucknow posting or you got the Delhi posting and they are looking for the people who who are willing to join pan india and they are going to ask you this question are you willing to join pan india and you need to say yes i would join anywhere in india i mean married women who are not employed for last two three years i mean it's a doubtful case for them right but if you are married and uh, you are already working there is no doubt at all right if you are uh, I mean, if you're working in HDA, in, in, in a private sector bank, but you have, uh, you started in, in the same city, in your hometown or home city. In, if you have been uh, working there, if your education is, I mean, let's say if a person like me, right? I, I, I did my schooling, I did my college education. I mean, even in the universities, I've been working in the same city. I mean, I spent like 33 years of my life in the same city. I've never been in, in any other city. So there is a sort of homesickness, right? Uh, I'm not a good candidate for this kind of a post. They'll, they'll reject me anyways. Okay, suppose if I go to the interview, they'll reject me anyways. So uh, you need to make sure that uh, let them know no matter what I'm going to join no matter what even if you give me Delhi, if you give me Lucknow, you give me Kerala, I'm going to join if you're that kind of person. That's really good. Certain issues uh, let's say uh, you're you're the let's say you are male and your wife she's a government servant right and uh, very well job she's doing uh, there is a doubt in the mind of interview panel you need to frame answers for that you need to frame answers for the uh, you know you need to fr prepare your in uh, your introduction then the personal questions and then uh, the RBA guidelines and the banking basics that's really really important the RBA guidelines the topics related to the credit the irac norms are really really important right uh, the in the R irac norms you'll understand uh, the the npa how it works the resolution the ibc uh, the surf ic act how it works right uh, that's really really important irac norms important for you uh, the ibc that's really really important documentation the whole documentation process uh, is really really important registration act stamp duty act limitation act really really important followed by some of the topics like banking products some of the banking products the government schemes uh, mudra yojana jandhan yojana atal pension yojana all those government schemes and the uh, you know subsidies that the government provide the central government provide and maybe if uh, in your state some government schemes are there related to that particular state that's also very very important uh, RBI circulars priority sector lending is very very important if you are working right now you're working in a uh, in a rural area then priority sector lending is really really important right government schemes are, as I already told you government schemes are very very important government schemes anyways are very very important some other topics like uh, what is SLR ratio CRR ratio uh, the RBI circular related to current account the RBI, anyways you should do RBI circulars you should do RBI circulars for last 12 months anyways if you even if you have appeared for the uh, the exam you might know that RBI circulars are very very important some of the other important acts that I would recommend negotiable instruments act is important here why not negotiable instruments act I mean if you are in a bank you should know I mean, what are negotiable instruments? Negotiable instruments act is really, really important. The powers of RBI, how RBI works. That's really, really important. Banking Regulation Act, the BR Act is actually important. BR Act is important. BR Act 
and then some of the topic important topic like export credit topics related to export credit export finance actually uh, the LC and all right the letter of guarantee how that works right the CC the limit calculation and the basic balance sheet uh, I mean if you are going to work in credit you should know how to read a balance sheet financial statement analysis or ratio analysis that includes the ratios ratio analysis kind of topics you should know that right and some of the FM FM me kya hai ki, uh, ratio analysis capital budgeting these topics are kind of important and repeated questions are asked from these kind of topics right anyways you can relate these topics to your job profile IRAC norms may NPA IBC surface highly related to your uh, job role documentation is highly related products maybe you are already dealing with mudra yojana sukanya sumridhi yojana you are already dealing with that you are already dealing with cc's you are already de dealing with current accounts you are already doing it the priority sector lending targets how that works the government schemes the rbi guidelines the negotiable instruments act the br act the export finance the balance sheet analysis or the fm topics you are already dealing with it you need to implement uh, you're already actually implementing these topics in your job if you know your job well you already know that right and we are going to help you uh, know these topics right the banking products i have already answered this uh, how we can help you students what i can do for you is uh, there is a proper interview preparation guide there's a proper capsule as well. I mean, let me tell you, uh, in case you don't need to join any course, there is a proper capsule, which is available for free, a free capsule, you can download the link is available in the description. But in case you need in depth understanding of all the topics, you need uh, the notes, the video classes and a mock interview mock interview is really important. A 30 minute session with me. I'm going to, you know, help you frame the proper introduction, I'll help you, uh, you know, how to prepare for the questions from like work experience, the personal question, I'll help you with that. So I'll help you frame answers for, for all the repeated questions, uh, the one to one guidance, the live session, I, I'm going to do that. So a proper 30 minute session is included along with the detailed interview preparation guidance. In case you're looking for a capsule, a quick capsule, uh, you don't need my help actually link is available in the description fill the form and get that capsule okay uh, PNB credit officer if you if you are actually very serious about uh, it and if you also have time to prepare for the interview just go for the interview preparation course right link is available in the description right for the course and this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts and that's I guess all for today list of students who took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. And you can be one of them. If there is any other doubt, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's I guess all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye.